Okay. The Oscars. What happened? Unlike people in different time zones, the Oscars isn't on in the UK live until like two o'clock in the morning and then till half five in the morning from that. And we watched pretty much the entire thing. It was decent. It was an enjoyable experience. It's one of those inspiring award shows that makes you even more inspired to make your own films. And even if it won't get recognized by the Academy, but yeah, there were some good nominations like Arrival, La La Land. Haven't seen Moon Moonlight personally, but that film kind of plays into the story. What happened was Bonnie and Clyde, Warren Betty, Warren Beatty, and Faye Dunaway came on to present the award for Best Picture. Nominations for Arrival, La La Land, and Moonlight, for example. I felt so bad for. I'm gonna call him Clyde. Warren. Warren. I felt so bad for Warren. I mean, he's quite old now. Most people probably wouldn't have seen him do anything since Bonnie and Clyde, probably. I felt so bad for him getting on stage. You can tell he was trying, and he, he seems like one of those sweet old men that you want to just talk to and smile at and stuff, you know. He got up with Faye Dunaway. He took his time reading the award. He was like, and the Oscar goes to... And then Faye Dunaway was like, you're impossible. It was kind of quirky and funny. I may be struggling to read it or something, but it's, it's kind of it's funny in a good way, in like an old man sweet way, you know what I mean? And then she snatched it off and was like, La La Land. And everyone goes, Aah! And Damien Chazelle gets up, kisses his wife, and gives, kisses his fiance wife. They all get up and then they're all happy and everybody's standing together and it's all an ensemble of people happy. And then you notice in the background this large security dude like proper going through everybody's like award slips as people reading out their speeches. Like they're actually going through their speeches and then, oh. And then they're like, by the way, we lost. And this is after a good three minutes or something. And, I mean, you've all seen it, but it's just, it's so bad and you feel bad for everybody in it. I mean, I was already feeling bad for Ryan Gosling being up there with the, like, one of the only ones without a, an Academy Award Oscar in his hand. Someone else was stood there and he was just like, he seems like a nice guy. They didn't deserve the embarrassment that pursued when it practically got shoved off stage and everyone was like, yeah, they didn't win. Moonlight won instead and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't tell if it's a joke or not until it's too late. I just feel terrible for good old Warren. He doesn't deserve this. So this is what the internet's gonna remember him by. Once you make a little slip up anywhere on TV, you're instantly part of an infamous meme. And I thought it was bad enough that the Suicide Squad stuff was already a meme, so. I think the main victim of all of this is Warren Beatty. Betty, Beatty, Clyde. People need to go and give him a big hug and say, we understand it wasn't your fault. But yeah. Just a small random thought thing. I don't quite know why I did this video. It kind of comes across as a bit cringy, doesn't it? It's kind of like a drama thing. What am I doing? Oh yeah, plus Ryan Gosling actually supposedly was laughing during this entire thing. He apparently found it hysterical. Because it was, you know, it was.